welcome to Motivational Monday with the Daniel Plan Digital Book Club at Norton Healthcare. My name is Erin Weedmar and I'm the clinical nutritionist with In Good Health. Today our topic is your home environment. Your home is the one place that you have complete control of, so you need to make sure that it's as healthy as possible for you and your family. So how do we do that? Well, step one is to make sure that we can make room for all of the good stuff. So we have to purge all of the bad stuff. I know it's difficult to throw food away, but it is for a good cause, your health. And no, nobody else needs your non-healthy foods either. So in the trash that it goes, okay? So starting in your freezer, what do you wanna look for to purge? So first of all, anything that's expired, of course. And then anything like your sweet treats, frozen pastries, frozen waffles, pancakes, um, you know, things like that that are simple, uh, carbohydrates, those are the types of things that you're looking for to get rid of. Moving on to your refrigerator, we need to make sure that we have room for lots of great produce. So again, make sure that you're pulling out anything that's expired. Make sure to look through all your condiments, pull out everything that's expired. The one thing to make sure that you're getting rid of is any kind of butter product, right? So nothing in a tub, no margarine. We want the less of the real thing. So in with the butter, out with the other products. Now when it comes to your pantry, my suggestion would be to pull everything out of the pantry. Every single thing. Pull it out. And then look at each individual item and say, is this good for me? If it's good for you, if it's not expired, it goes back in the pantry. If it's not, then you know exactly where it goes. Then moving on to your spice rack, okay? This is another place where lots of hidden expired things can hide. So make sure when you open up that spice rack, pull everything out, line everything up. If it's expired, it goes out the window, okay? Now when you put everything back in, make sure that you can see everything so the, that when you open the cabinet, there's nothing worse if you're trying a new recipe, you're looking around for a, a, a new spice, Maybe it's hidden in the corner. You buy a second one and bring it home. Very frustrating. So make sure that you can see all of the spices in your spice rack. Now it comes to putting the healthy things back in. So what types of things do we want to be getting from the grocery and storing in our home? First thing is up is produce, okay? How do you know how much produce your family needs? Well, that's where your meal plan comes in. So before you go to the grocery, you need to make sure that you're writing out what you and your family are gonna be eating for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks, three to seven days, however long you wanna plan for. Then you know exactly how much produce to buy and nothing will go bad on you. Now the next thing is when you bring produce home, you need to put it into edible form, okay? So take for example grapes. You don't wanna put them, keep them in the dirty bag, put them in the back of the refrigerator where you forget about them until they go bad, no. You get them out, you rinse them off, and you put them in a really easy grab-and-go bowl or container at the very front of the refrigerator. So then every time someone opens up that refrigerator, guess that we're going to grab a few of the grapes. And that's how you make sure that none of your produce goes bad on you. The next thing that you want to be storing is your grains, okay? Whole and intact grains. So oatmeal, brown rice, quinoa, these types of things you can buy in bulk and keep in the pantry for long periods of time. So they're good things to have around. Next, we have our oils, okay? The three oils I always have around, coconut oil, olive oil, and butter. I can usually get away with those three. I also keep an olive oil pan spray by my stove. So if I'm just going to make, you know, a grilled cheese or um, something that just needs to be lightly coated, then I use my pan spray. Um, with that said, beans are next. I know I talk a lot about beans. I'm a huge bean advocate, but canned beans are something that you can buy in bulk, always keep in the pantry. You can always toss them in with a recipe, add them to a soup. Just use them as a side dish just by themselves. They're delicious. The more beans, the better. Next, we have snacks. You need to make sure that you have a lot of easy grab-and-go snacks around, okay? So things like unsweetened applesauce, um, dried fruit, nuts, cheeses guacamole, dark chocolate. These are kind of things that you can just grab and go when you're hungry or if you're heading out for errands, you can always toss them into your bag and take them with you. So really great things to have. Seasonings again, the goal is that when you open up that seasonings cabinet, you can see every spice you have. That way, if you're trying a new recipe and you're looking for a, a specific seasoning, you know immediately whether you already have it or if it needs to go on your grocery list. 
Nothing's worse than coming home with your third cayenne pepper. That can, again, can be really frustrating. Um, so last but not least, honey. I always have honey around as a Daniel Plan friendly sweetener. Um, you can add it to, uh, you know, on salads. You can put it in your oatmeal. We use it a lot as a dip, you know, just as a, a nice sweet dip to flavor things up. So the last thing, I didn't talk much yet about it. I don't have a visual or your beverages. So Every, again, anything with added sugar or artificial sweetener is what we're trying to get out of the home, right? So all of your soda, diet soda, um, sports drinks, artificially flavored beverages, um, those are the kind of things that we want to get out of the home. Now, if you really want one, then you go to the store, you buy a single serving, and you drink it. doesn't mean you have to keep a 24-pack in the garage. So again, your home environment you want to control as much as you can. Then if you really want something, you go out, you get a single serving of it. That's the best way to do it. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. And from all of us at In Good Health, we hope you have a very healthy week. Mm -hmm.